Top Man, the South Man, the D, ATM, original ATM, you know, you gang shit for real, you D. Yo, what's good, what's going on? I go by the name of Sims, if you don't know what he said. Representing Ellis Game, the Suckers out here. Yeah, ATM's first bomb, ATM's first official artist. What it is, what it is, what's up? Me, I go by the name Lebo. Maswangani. So don't ever get it twisted. My name is Rance. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, man. My name is Ralph. And my full name is Ralph from Final Putin Goods. Hey, everybody. My name is Mauricio the First. My friends call me Lucas. And I'm known as Zana of 18. Yeah, that's who I am, man. First of all, I'm not that long. That lame. DJ ATM. Yeah. Yeah, she. Me, I am just you. ATM. ATM rapper, producer, trapper. You did. My name is Steve Maita, I'm an official ATM tattoo artist, uh, I'm a visual artist. You see the hustle out here, but you already know that. Yeah, ATM is the name of the label, you know what I'm saying? And I'm the label manager. I think ATM began uh, 2012, 2013, you know, the proper ATM, the people that you see here with me, you know what I'm saying? MC the GOAT, he the one that do, uh, he made, he, he, in, he really invented the genre. And another thing that you gotta know is, a lot of elements in me and Java's music is through genius MT architecture. That we understood and realized how, how intellectual and how, how valuable that skill is when it comes to making music. You do what I'm saying? The whole concept is, is brotherhood and actually inspiring each other. You know what I mean? That even when you listen to the music, that's what you're gonna hear. If we're not inspiring each other, we're inspiring people out there. And understand that it's, uh, it's not just for us, you understand? Me? It's, it's something we started for the community, for the public, you understand? But in all in all, it's to motivate than anything. You know, that's like our main focus with you. Get up, go get it, you know, that, that's what we do this for. Fortunately, Ruff has been like one of the people that I look up to, you know, when it comes to production, you know, um, studio work. That's when I started taking the studio seriously and, you know, understanding the fundamentals of, you know, what goes behind making a good song, not just a song, but a good ass song, you know, so Ruff was with the movement, you know, and I was like, hey man, bro, let's, let's start this shit, man. Let's get it, let's get it going. Yeah, I think it was 2009, you know. I told this kid, yo, bro, we need to, we need to make this thing, like, proper business for me. I know you're working for that guy, but is that guy paying you prop? Because I know you're not getting the money from me. That's a good idea. Cause I mean, I was, I was pushing on shiga shiga I was making money from, but it was, it was illegal, you know. And Ruff's type of beats, they were like out of this world, you know. They were like out of this world. They were, the, they were like the beats we make, but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Events yeah. as a motherfucker. Yeah. So beats that I make. Just know they inspired by Ruff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He like he my OG when it comes to like, making music. Forget Sandy and I thank God for the day. Used to walk the city, always knew I'd run the J. Lord, please get these bitches out my way. And I know that. Oh, fuck. Last one. <laughs> Why I say?
out here having a photo shoot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sims. Shout out to Just Chief. It's a photo Mauricio. shoot. You know what I'm saying? Both for Mauricio and you know the partners. So yeah, man, we're doing it. We're doing it this time. Bro. We're doing it right. We're doing it right. We're, doing it right. we're not even. We're not even supposed to be here. You know. But that's the best thing about being a trapper. You, you get to be sneaky and get away with a lot of shit. So yeah, we gotta do this real quick and get out of here real fast for the cop police on us, man. Ah, right, one time. Just G in the mix. And how it's here, we're doing a Mauricio photo shoot. Mauricio clothing, you know what it is? The new gear, got the track suits, got the new shirts. Whole track suit, got the pants too, don't get it twisted. Caps too, got it all, Mauricio clothing. Follow Mauricio.clothing on Instagram and Twitter. That's what it is. Trying to link it with the music. Trying to link the style. The swag. The music. Trying to make it all one. And it being this. Mauricio. Vintage. Taking it back to the 80s. You're not ready for what's coming. Two straps and never look this better. With the local brand mixed together. Shout out Jose Guapo, man. Let my panel. For real, for real, nigga. Yeah, I don't know, baby. Don't. Shout out QC, man. Shout out QC. Shout out SCA. Shout out Richmond. Shout out Richmond. I come from a small town in Bumala, now spray. I mean, yeah, that's where I'm from. So I just came out here and drove it to do my shit, man. I'm a rapper, I mean, that's my occupation. That's what I do for a living. That's what I do in life. I mean, I, I wasn't cut out to do anything else, work or some shit like that, nah. We're gonna be the blueprint of the music industry. Don't get it twisted. We will be what everyone looks at to create a dam. I'm from Mozambique, Mafalala, and Maput. You know, just like a recognize that shit. Like you still feel the roots of Mozambique, you know. And that also plays a huge role in you know us as a team. You get it? Yeah man, this is the African prints I use. So I always incorporate my, my fashion with you no know, African prints. That makes it hella authentic. I'm Swati, you know what I mean? And my other partners, this Java, is Zulu, MT is Corsa, Sims is from Zambia, and I mean, he's doing his own thing, Chest is also Corsa. So, African trap is actually African people, African groups, like, you know, like ethnic groups, different ethnic groups coming together and focusing on doing one thing so you already know same time african trap bombs that this is actually african music because it has that african element you know what i mean i'm from lusaka zambia you understand and other members of atm also from africa like uh, we have uh, the designer he's from mozambique and as Africans, melodies and rhythm has always been our thing. Chants have always, chants have always been our thing. If you listen to Ingoma Ezning, is a trap even from that side. It's chants. It's like Makfawi Inyama Engine from Esbae in Amsterdam. It's like, oh, they understand. So it's, 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 it's nothing foreign at all. You understand? It's just that. It's in a different language and they're somewhere else in America, but then it's still the same thing, it's still the same melodies, uh, it's, it's, it's still the same chants. So African trap is actually African people, African groups, like, you know, like ethnic groups, different ethnic groups coming together and focusing on doing one thing. Some would find inspired, you know, inspiring, and some would find it cliche and say, ah, nah. They been doing that shit, nah. Nigga, nah, nigga. They ain't be using that shit in hip hop like that, nigga. Okay. And a lot of people don't get it. We need to stay being African at all times, because now at the end of the day, all these clothes niggas are saying come from China, 
at the end of the day, all this shit comes from some other country, but it ain't coming from SA, you know. That's why we all stay big African trap movement, because we have to bring it back to SA, and then it all blushes down. I think trap, you know, speaks about struggle, you know, I think it, it is all based around coming up, you know, coming up from nothing to something, and, you know, um, doing it with your collective, you know, peoples, your homies, like me and my gang, how we do, you know, so, the, sim the similarities are major, man, almost everything, just the languages that we use, you know, the languages and the lingo. How we work, work as a team. Before me. I can make the beat alone, but when we be like making a like I don't believe me. I would say a beat can sometimes hear the heat, and I don't believe the vocal hear the heat. The whole thing the way the fans are on the whole package hear the it try to be good. Before me. the final product. I believe you like while I record, man. I build the song. Same time, I mix while I'm recording. Yeah, we have a, we have a whole lot of sounds. Oh, I like how that we mix with with, with 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 the beats and everything, and then that's what creates the flavor in African trap. You can understand that it's more soulful than anything. You understand it. But then, like I said, the melodies will stay the same. You understand it because we are black people at the end of the day, and we get melodies from the same place. It's that they're on the other side and we're on the other side. But now we finally coming together. Trap and fashion meeting music. 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 The thing about ATM, man, African trap movement, is that. We stay sticking to our African roots at all times. I think that's the only. I think that's what the kids actually love, bro. Cause we still, you know, remain local at all times. We stay being African at all times. If it means singing African way, we do it. You know, the Prince talk. You know, that's how I work with my shit. I work with Prince, so that's why we stay being African. You know, and in the fashion sense, fashion sense, man, I'm. I stay being African to my Prince. That's me, man. Hey, one time. Still talk that real in the songs. Because as much as people may, you know, have negative remarks, we, we, we speak that real. Gangsters love our music. Real people love our music. The streets love our music. And those people ain't fools. Know that. We too fucking influential, man. Don't get it twisted like we're doing the most. Because we're too real, nigga. Ain't no fake shit. You see the way I am now? That's how you wanna meet me on the street. Whether it's a formal event or whatever, I'm gonna be like this. Ain't no fake shit now cause I'll be on TV or I'll be where I must go buy what I try to ask so I can look nice. So now you meet me on the street, I'm a different person. Like, everyone the street loves us, nigga. Cause we trapping. Uh, it's more than just uh, a genre. Like, a lot of people would view it or see it. It's more of a lifestyle, more of brotherhood, you know. Uh, we try to put 
our lifestyle in our music. So you never find us talking about stuff that we don't have. The responsibility of an ATM member is to inspire, inspire, aspire, you know, have the drive and belief and faith in what we do. Because you can't be out here rapping with us or zooling, hustling with us, but you don't believe in what we do. Uh, I'm in a label that has like uh, people that are talented, like for real, don't even get it twisted. Like the environment where I'm at right now helps me grow as an artist, you understand? The whole reason we have a following is because we haven't stopped and we're not gonna stop anytime soon. So we're trying to build some legendary shit here. They won't get it twisted. We're not gonna stop. And you can try stopping us, it won't happen, trust me. Oh yeah, motherfuckers can try, it won't happen. It's all bound, but trust me, it's team too strong. Don't ever play yourself, my team too strong, motherfuckers. <laughs> Our OG is like the hussy for me. You know, they walk there, tripping in the city. The city that the gang is running now. You can claim that you're running the city, but forget. Forget. Uh, I I met ATM in the squad. Actually, it was NT and Lucas. They are the guys I saw first. We were at Derby Knight's house. We went there for a house call with a friend who We were inking the guys and then they walked in. Then they saw my profile and then they got interested that day. I think it was. Uh, two years ago, if I'm not mistaken, from now. So yeah, I gave most of the guys, like I think half of them, because we had team with Moon and Swan. So that's when they got their first tattoo. Like most of the guys, like never been this stuff. It's been two years. I'm just happy and privileged you now to be where I'm at today because from where I'm from, bro, like this shit is not really serious like that. Nobody believes in music. Everybody thought I was mad out there and I'm like, everybody on my lame in the hood. Yeah, nah, little nigga, nyan, I love my sleep. I mean, I'll be out there and sweat up as a motherfucker. Skinny jeans and shit. So niggas will be like, you gay, you stubborn, and you're what? And shit like that, because they didn't really understand what was going on. Everybody out there is just on some other shit. The trap is not a thing, the trap is a culture. That I myself. Volunteer to be a part of. Yeah. Like trap is a new genre in, in SA. You know what I'm saying? We're not used to trap. There's a lot of people that don't know what trap is in SA. I think a lot of young kids are um, drawn by ATM because um, the lives are real. I mean, we are behind the number one hustler. You know what I'm saying? It's Java. Uh, Saudi, you know what I'm saying? So that's basically the, what makes us outstanding.
right now we're in the world, we the only ones that got a trick up their sleeve. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the continent of Africa. Everybody's gravitating towards the Africa everywhere in the world. And I know for a fact, and I don't mean like no, I mean like I know a lot of uh, American stars who listen to our music. You know what I'm saying? So, man. As a young dude from the hood or wherever, man, whether you're from the hood or birth or whatever, it's through you, man. Start something on your own. The internet is booming now, man. Be a boss. Start up something. I can also see, like, I'm also inspired, bro. Like, I'm sitting behind some awards, bro. Like, this is the second annual South African Awards. This is the second annual south african awards best man uh best rap album went on to mt forever you understand so when i'm in the booth like this recording our shit looking at these awards hey man i gotta put in the work you get what i'm saying me i'm all about the music that's the only thing i'm about i don't give a fuck about no bad vibes i just like making music yeah, this my journey, and it's beginning now, and y'all gon' know about it. ATM, now we But I respect Nigerians, bro, because Nigerians, they doing their own thing. They sound Nigerian. The music one is just screen, and that's why they winning international. Here in South Africa, we have one at least. That's what we have. We have, like, fake musicians. Most of them they do music cause because of TV. They watch TV too much. They wanna look like that name on TV, that American name. It's not good like they are they are like musicians born. I was the best musicians. It's just they can do it. Most of them they can do it. They are not musicians, they just can't do it. Before. You know what I mean? Whatever problems that you have, says I'm It's been now even when we record these songs. We could talk about anything, you know what I mean? But we, we choose to talk about things that we know. Yes, if we talk about this and that, out there. As much as we have all type of songs, but when it comes to music, ATM music, everybody will tell you it's motivation, you know what I mean? Uh, respect, you know what I mean? We may say that, we can say that. All of that, that's what they tell me. It's a lot that, that, that is similar to, to American traffic. It's just, it's one and the same thing. It's just that we talk about coming up in Africa, coming up in South Africa, coming up from the township, coming up from the village, you know what I'm saying? Coming up from Soweto, coming up from Joburg, the city. We're in the city right now, you know? So, that's what it's all about, man. Inspiring and motivating and moving forward. So we ain't playing when we say we run this piece, bro. This is, this is the block. We used to sit right here, smoke up, and just dream. You know what I'm saying? Smoke up, smoke up. Sit more lean, do whatever. You know what I'm saying? It was all in the mix. And that's our, that's our high school right there, Panato Park High School. Your kids don't do drugs. Stay in school. Africa really got the sauce, you know what I mean? That's just, that's just it. In terms of, like I'm talking about even everything else that surrounds music itself. The choreography is by Africans. There's a, a, a culture, not a culture, a subculture, you know what I mean? In the streets, in Makasi, like SOS and shit like that called Ispanzula, you dig what I'm saying? So a lot of Ispanzula has been involved in a lot of uh, great American black pop stars, you dig what I'm saying? In their music videos, in their dab, in their fashion, and all that kind of stuff. So, like, at, at this point, everybody's gravitating towards Africa, and when it comes down to origin, just sauce, you know what I mean? It's yeah, we drip. Yeah, we do drip. I think 
what gravitates you to the ATM is, is I think it's, it's the level of talent like, that they have the most the most artistic artistic people who are under ATM which is like the, the highest talent you can say. So they think it's just easy to get up here. It's, you don't just wake up the next day and be part of ATM. You have to put more than enough work to get so. Sometimes ne, it's not about the genre itself, it's about the person itself, okay? Yeah. And that's when I saw Uti, when Roll Up actually was realized, I actually got, believe, I got to believe Uti, you know? Actually, ATM, it's ATM's time, bro, okay? And ATM had a contribution in valuing music, okay? People like Java write music, to okay? get Value music. You can't just listen to an album and just expect three songs, you know. We've broken actual rules and say, you know, that time it's done. Where we just gonna choose one song and hope for uh, the album to sell. Nah, nigga, it's time for you to make every song in the album nice. Man, you're very bad about buying, but chill out to music is the only way, you know. But my sake, the music like is nice, but oh na, they are cut out because it's the same as the day. 24-7 I was told it's cut to your energy We don't own the time We don't own the clock So it's like Things will happen It's just the timing that we don't know about Because nobody When we when we made Roll Up I don't think none of us really thought It was going to be this big Where we, we knew it was a dope song And a big song But we never knew like it would like Get us here. Yeah. Roll we up, got us here. It was our, our hit on DIY, the EP. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And not the record of the year in South Africa. That's going to yeah. change our lives. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? So, for me too, like personally, I have no doubt that I'm going to be very, very rich. Yeah. Only thing a nigga care about or worry about is the fact that no broker rapper in the slum somewhere can out finesse me or make a better song than me. You do what I'm saying? That's the only concern that I have. The yeah. only one. Song can hear this is a community in the music. When the song can ask me, I'm a song to see what I'm in the music. So, we see the most song is in the music. So, you know, I'm showing the same way that I'm artistic. Twenty fifty thousand, my artist, oh, where are you? Chincha, na kuna lapa, my artist. Si abati ya boto hotel, boti jela, yeah. I sound a little bit dead. Like you sometimes you feel like the mixing is not proper. And you don't learn as a just to keep the yeah, you, you 
like you uh, sometimes i know people think like but this makes things not proper then i know i'm aware as the average it's not proper and that's how i want the song sound to record because if i make it a little bit fine then this was on a jama track and that like a pine uh everybody came with their own thing you know what i'm saying everybody came with their own way you know why suddenly some people feel like this wave is gonna fall or this wave is gonna disappear or hey it's just a phase man who are you to be feeling like that dude? in the first place who are you to be feeling like that because people being trapped before you knew that there was something called trap people being trapped is what you do like our gang is hella dude yeah hella lame Female, we share. No one is a cheese boy in that motherfucker. We're all from the who we hustle our way up. But obviously, everybody thinks it's a phase because these new kids they rapping like that. Da, 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 da. But it's gonna be a, it's go, it's going it's gonna live forever. And yeah, yeah, you, yeah, just you gonna learn to accept it into your life. You know what I mean? And you gonna love it too. That's for every South African and African. For somebody to feel like what we do is just a face, that person must be comfortable. That person must call on the dog I tell me or something. Because we're moving forward, not backwards, we forward. Ooh, young nigga, they ain't no shit. You think we are a face, my nigga? We are doing music. We're not. Yo, people think we just rap. It's not. Nah, we are doing music. Like, there's nothing that we do that isn't musical that you cannot listen to five years down the line, ten years down the line. It's 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 it's, it's, a, it's a subculture. It's a culture, a subgenre that you're gonna love. A culture and a subgenre that you're going to love and that is gonna live forever and that you're gonna accept into your life that's what it is but of course to the industry it just seems like it's just a phase it's just right around you know what i mean but that's cool right now i, I can say that we we we're very really shy right now because that was the plan you know what i mean to, to influence and teach you know what i mean with your just be yourself you know what i mean because a lot of people were afraid to be themselves for a very long time you know what i mean which, Appreciate a lot of corner, whether we be or you know what I mean. So, and the work world and everything, I think we, because right now we are already attracting like our artists from overseas, they, 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 they are picking up the signal, you understand. And at the end of the day, now we buy a band, you know what I mean. They, we are all Africans, we are all from Africa. You know, they say America is black, America is black, we all come from here, you know what I mean. So, there is that connection now going forward. I promise you there's going to be a whole lot of features you know, because we are really trying to make sure that we make quality music, you know, African music that can compete well with us, so that's the plan. And that, that's, that's what's going to happen with ATM. This ATM machine is like, we have the same target, all of us, same target. We want to make it, all of us. We're doing this music shit because we love this shit. We're not doing this shit for fame or for fun. We love this shit. We take it too personal. So like we brothers, we share everything. We share no fuck niggas around us. And we know all the fuck niggas. So ATM is the future. Believe in it. If you don't wanna believe in it, it's yours. You be sleeping on yourself, it's not sleeping on the ATM shit. The aim is not just to make music. Make music for the national scene or whatever people may put it, you understand? It's about like crossing borders, you understand? The international level, you understand? Uh, I also got dreams, bro. I'm trying to perform at the Coachella, you understand? So, you're also trying to get them BTs, you're trying to get them Grammys, you understand? So, uh, the only way is for the music to get out there, you understand? So, for people to actually notice my work just like that, uh, it believes I, I, I'm on the right path, you understand? Pray, pray, 
That's what it's all about. That's trap for you. Gang, gang, squad. Break bread. Make sure we all good. You know? That's culture. And I feel like whoever discriminates or feels like trap is BS or whatever always misses that aspect of what trap is. It's just you being honest about how you got it out the mud. You dig what I'm saying? It just so happens that all of us got it out the pot. You know what I mean? But that it's, it's just something in Jalo and everybody, is, it, it's not somewhere you can come through and lie at. It's like for me, a more refined um, hip hop. One thing you can't take away from MC Eden, there's not even one thing. He's real, bro. Like, everything I call my music work, it's reality. It's the shit he went through. Roll up was something he was going through at that time. I recorded that track. Every song, every song, bro. He, he was selling Mr. Team. Like, was pushing up, like, Shiga Shiga, like, before. So, unlike other rappers, they say, hey, I used to hustle, I used to stay hungry. Nigga, you don't know what's in now. So, MT, like, he's been there, and the fact that he's hella talented, like, hella talented. The music work is so real. Besides, what he's talented, yeah. From music working is real cause you could manage in this and like almost almost like which chap. Hell yeah, you right, I'm still trapping. Double cups, I be stacking. Me and my family, we dabbing. Daddy stack up the cabbage. I'm glad this hate that we have it. In the next five years, I see trap evolving to something positive because it, it has changed lives, you know what I mean? And uh, it has taught a lot of people about life. Trap is basically life. That's how I can put it. And then what MT is, is he's the, he's the, he's the founder of it and it's its finest form. What Java is, he is he is what solidifies that genre as a musical genre, not just a subculture and great music. You dig what I'm saying? And what I am, I am what takes this genre from this foundation and brings it into the world. That's what I am, and that's what Drugs Inc. is. That's what it is.